Hello everyone and welcome to today's leasing and property management training. My name is Amanda Shelton and I will be giving the first half of our training today. This is a two hour training. We will have a short intermission and uh, Caitlin will be presenting the second half of the training. Right now she's going to be helping out with answering questions and then I will be answering the questions in the second half. Caitlin and I are on our customer success team. So if you have put in a support request, you may have uh, dealt with us in the past. And uh, we are happy to help with any questions during the training. And anything that we can't get to or uh, you still need additional help with, feel free to contact our customer success team and we can get that taken care of for you. Again, our training today is approximately two hours. We will have a short intermission. We're going to be covering the leasing section and property management uh, of your Folio database. We're going to cover leasing, your vacancies, posting those to the internet, uh, accepting guest cards and applications online, moving in a tenant, moving out a tenant, then we'll have a quick break for five minutes and Caitlin will jump in and join us uh, going over our property management side, managing your properties and units, reporting and the letters function in Folio. If you need anything during the training or have a question, feel free to use your chat panel there in your GoToMeeting box. Uh, Caitlin has uh, already said a hello to everyone, so hopefully you can see that. And if you have any questions, just give her a shout during the training. And we're going to begin with our leasing overview. The leasing tab in Folio is going to cover uh, listing and managing your vacancy postings. You're going to track and manage any interest in your advertised properties with guest cards. You can accept online applications uh, on the internet as well as your application fees should you choose. You can conduct a background screening with one click of a button and then you can convert the application to a tenant if you decide they are approved. You'll notice that the, the leasing tab is right there after your start page. It's usually the first step that you're going to take when you uh, accept a new property from an owner. And then you will uh, post that vacancy online, track and manage your interest with your guest cards, accept an online application, screen that tenant, and move them directly into the program. It saves you a lot of time and effort as you only have to enter their information, um, as you do not have to enter their information if you accept their application online, and it, all of that information will convert over into your applications. For your vacancies, we have three atlas that you can post those to, Craigslist, your internal website, as well as our internet listing services. We're going to go over how to create a guest card. They can be entered online if you choose to accept them online or they can manually be entered in. We're going to discuss how to manage your guest cards, collect all the guest vital information, tracking any activity or showings on the properties, change the status of the guest cards, and then email an application should that, should that prospect decide they want to apply for a property. And then we have leasing reports that track this activity so you can see where your leads are coming from. You can find out what advertisements are successful and bringing you leads. You can track your sources and you can even email an owner leasing activity report to your owners to let them know what kind of interest they've had in their vacant property. You're going to create and manage your applications. It's a completely built-in process. You can have instant screening results if you choose to use that throughout Folio. You don't have to contact anyone. You're not waiting for faxes or getting uh, handwritten applications that are illegible and you can't read. And it will be retained. All your applications are retained on your tenant page. Here's a built-in screening report. We will take a look at one one of those a little bit later when we jump into the database. It's all completely built in. You will instantly receive your report. And we're going to go over any leasing features and setup needs that you will need to conduct if you're going to use these uh, features in your database. We're going to input unit marketing information 
add listing box code from settings to your website. You can enable guest cards to be received online in your settings. You're going to turn the feature on for online applications. Set up any tenant ACH if you decide to accept your rent online. Or um, also you will need tenant ACH if you're going to accept application fees online. And for our screening, if you do want to use our screening, uh, it does require an authorization process. We can get you in touch with our um, added value-added sales team if you're interested in the tenant ACH or tenant screening. And then for your moving in tenants, there is no setup required. So we're going to hop into our product here. And we're going to begin with our leasing tab. <coughs> Excuse me. So if you go to your uh, first little subsection here, you'll notice that Abfolio is set up with tabs. So your leasing will handle all your um, tenant prospects, applications, and marketing of your properties. Uh, your property page will be set up here in this tab. People will have your owners and tenants and vendors. The accounting is where you will go to enter in any receipts or billing or anything of that nature. And we have a maintenance tab if you need any maintenance uh, work orders and things like that, if you'd like to track that in that folio. And then we have our reporting tab. And I just was handed a note here. I'm sorry for that pause. Uh, Caitlin has been uh, kicked off the server here with their internet. So if you are having any questions there, I will try to keep track of those. And we'll definitely try to get all of those addressed during the training. All right, so now we have a little subset here of our main tab. We have vacancies, guest cars, and rental applications. You'll see under your task section here, you can enter in a new rental application. Should someone submit one manually to you, you can enter a new rental application here or even a new guest card if they come into your office and you want to track that prospect and they did not fill out any information online. You do have the ability to add those here. And you would just directly input all this information. Uh, the reason that Afolio likes to use the online feature is it takes out taking up your time entering data as we can convert these applications directly to the move-in process and it really is a time saver for property management companies. For the guest cards, if you want to put in a new guest card, you can track the source where it came from. At this time, the sources that are listed here are the only ones that you can select. You can tr track their name, email, phone numbers, any units, or if you don't have a particular unit available that meets their specifications, you can enter in what they're looking for. So if you have one down the line, you can get back in contact with them. If you do enter in a guest card, I'm going to open up one here. You can record your communication if you send out any emails or phone calls. You can record a showing if you take this uh, prospect to view the property. You can enter in a rental application directly from their, West, from their guest card. You can add them to a waiting list. You can mark them as inactive and track the reason there. Um, if they did end up finding a, another property in another location, you can keep track of all of this and you can follow why you lost that prospect. Right now you'll notice that it is a current lead. It's active. You can add them to the waiting list again if you don't have a particular property that matches what they're looking for at this time. You can add them to a waiting list. And we do have a guest card report. If you go over to your reporting tab, and this will get covered later on in the training. If, if Caitlin doesn't get back online, then I'll go ahead and conduct the second half, and we'll be diving a little bit more into these reports. But you do have a guest card report that you can uh, pull by active if you've waitlisted someone or inactive. If there is someone on the inactive list, per se, 
and we don't have anyone there, so I'm going to just pull up all of them. This one is whitelisted, for instance, or if it was even inactive, I can always go back to this report and find this guest card. Click on it, and you'll notice it's loading it here in my other tab. And I can either change it to active or inactive. So I'm going to mark this as active. A unit became available. And now I have this guest card back as an active lead. So should you decide that you want to accept your guest cards and applications online, you'll need to go to your settings area and manage your, I'm sorry, that's, okay. If you go to manage my settings, This is where you can select um, this particular user to receive. If any rental applications or guest cards are received, you can select this here, and they will receive an email notification that there has been a new guest card or application entered. You can do the same should you decide to track online maintenance requests uh, through your tenant portals by using the tenant ACH. You can also select for them to receive notices regarding that. I would like to mention that we do have a maintenance training. If you would like to learn a little bit more about the work orders in the maintenance tab, you can uh, do that with our maintenance training. All right, so Caitlin is back with us, so uh, she'll be uh, jumping on those questions quickly. All right, so if you want to set your database up with the ability to receive your uh, online applications, you're going to go to your settings and manage uh, online vacancies and lists and postings. And you'll check this box here, allow prospective tenants to submit guest cards and apply online. You can also select a number of days that you would like to keep those on the dashboard. Now, this does not apply to if you actually convert the application, it does stay with the tenant. So this is just uh, the amount of time it will stay here under your leasing tab as an application if you do not convert them. I also want to point out while we're in the screen that this is the section that the tenant will see if they were to apply online. It's a terms of application agreement. So this is just where they are confirming that they are allowing the credit to be pulled, and so on and so forth. This is the only section at this time of the application that can be edited at all. If you have a particular disclosure or a notation you would like for all the applicants to see before they uh, sign it with an online signature, you would want to edit this area here, and you can save that. Another thing I would like to note while we're on this screen, 